What's up everybody, how's it going? So today I'm going to be giving you my holiday gift guide. I'm going to be mending my two passions being running and, and my professional gift giving ability to this one perfect list of things to get for all of your runner friends. Okay. So you may be wondering, Zach, why do I take gift giving advice from you? Why should I trust you? A, I am a professional runner. Um, well, there's more coming on that in the future days. I'm gonna have a little announcement coming soon. And on top of that, I actually am known to give some of the best gifts. Very thoughtful, very loving, very, very heartfelt. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, nothing really qualifies me for this. I just, I just really like giving presents. I will need all of these. As you can tell, um, Rudolph came a little bit early. <sighs> I thought it was gonna be funny. It just, it just is a pimple on my nose, but. <sighs> but anyways, welcome to Zach Levitt's holiday gift list. This is my gift list that is made for special people in your life. I wanted to make this list a little bit different. Obviously it's targeted towards runners and people in your life that like to exercise and do all those things. But I kind of wanted to not just be like, oh, you know, get the, the basics, you know. But with no further ado, because I don't want to waste your time, here's my holiday gift list for your friends and families and people that you love and a lot of stuff. Yes. Okay. Item one. With no order to it, I'm going to start with a bit of a more expensive product, but a GPS running watch. This sounds a bit extreme for the first present because these are a bit expensive, but you don't need to get these fancy running watches to get the same effect. There are a lot of great options like the Garmin 4Runner 15 that might run less than $100, which if you're trying to spend a little bit more is something that is special for a runner. It's incredibly helpful during training, and if your friend or person you're trying to gift doesn't already have one, it's probably something that they want, it's probably something on their wish list. Unless they're a complete purist, I think that this is something that they would like. Gift two. To follow that up, there is an app, okay? If you didn't want to buy the GPS watch, I, I have an app for you. Your runner friends may already be on it, but it's called Strava. And there's a lot of apps that do things like this, but this is the Instagram for runners. You post your runs, it has GPS segments, it has all the data you could ever want, you can follow your friends, all that stuff. And long story short, it's just a really, really fun thing to do. And it's actually free, but there is a premium package and that way you can get a little bit more data a little bit more details it's a small thing where you could spend as much as you really want give them a month give them a couple months give them the year and basically it's just gonna give them more insight into their runs like if somebody bought that for me I'd be really happy but also like I would never buy it on my own I feel like that's when you get the best gifts when they wouldn't think of it or they wouldn't do it but they kind of want it you know pulling some goodies out of my bag of tricks number three massage tools these are incredibly useful because as runners, we always have our muscles messing up, getting tight, doing all those things. And so having a massage tool for your plantar fascia, which only runs about $7, is incredibly helpful. And I've actually found a lot of value by using these to help me avoid injuries and things like that. And so on top of that, I think that the stick is one of the best tools you can ever buy. If you don't know what this is, it costs $25, okay? And it looks kind of like something you roll dough out with, you know, a rolling pin, whatever you want to call it. But instead, you roll out your muscles just like this, and um, and it, it works like a champ. You can roll it on your quads, you can roll it on your hamstrings, you can roll it on your calf, you can roll it wherever you want. Sometimes I just uh, do a little back rolling, okay? I, I do it all with this thing. And for 25 bucks, it's kind of in the golden price point of gifts. This is the price point where it's like, 20 or 30 dollars you're gonna get a great present something that somebody probably wouldn't buy but they might buy but something that's very useful and a long-term precedent but all that to say that massage tools are great and they're usually a pretty cheap gift on top of these massage tools being great I'm actually giving these away because I wanted to give something away for this holiday season so stick around to the end of the video for me to tell you how to win these I'm gonna be giving away a couple other items and I'll show them as I tell about them so just hang in tight I'll be talking about these soon. Number number four, number four. This one is a little bit of a more basic gift, but running shoes. Believe it or not, for a runner, they do like new running shoes. There's tons of options. You know, you got your fast shoes, you got your beautiful training shoes, whatever you want. But every runner obviously needs shoes to run, or they, they usually people run in shoes. So find out the person you're gifting size by doing a little bit of behind the scenes work. Go find the shoe that they like to run in and give them that shoe. Or you could find a different shoe that you know you think that would be fun for them or that they've been talking about or whatever it is. New shoes are great from one runner to another. Number five, journals. 
So this seems a little bit different from most of the other gifts because it's just a notebook, but I think that if you gave a runner a journal, like a blank notebook, and then you put some special thing on it, like blah, blah, blah's running journal, like Zach's running journal, okay? And then gave it to them. You know, you put your effort, you put your heart, you put your thought into it. Like, I think they'll love it. I think that journals are an amazing gift because regardless if they write running stuff in it or not, it's really special. You know, I feel like a journal is a sacred thing and getting it from somebody it makes it a little bit more special. Number six. Okay, so this one is a book. I think that gifting people books kind of goes hand in hand with journaling, but I think that Shoe Dog by Phil Knight is like a really incredible book. And honestly, there's a lot of great running books, but this is kind of one of my favorites. And on top of that, Running with the Buffaloes is also one of my favorites. So those two books are really great gifts. They're really easy. Books cost like $10. So you can give both of them for like $20 or one for 10, maybe even a stocking stuffer. But it's a big gift because like there's a lot that can be stacked into a book, like a lot of ideas and all that stuff. So there's a lot of value in a book. And I think that Shoe Dog and on top of that, Running with the Buffaloes are two of my favorites that are definitely worth gifting. Easy reads, fun reads, just great stories. So if you're interested in giving a book, those two are great. Okay, my next gift, item number seven. Ah, that zit on my nose, a headlamp. Obviously, I don't have a headlamp, but if your friend or your person you're gifting, I can't figure out what to call this, runs a lot at night, you should give them a headlamp. I used to have a headlamp and I used it for like five years, but the problem was that I lost it when I was moving and traveling and all that stuff, so I actually need to go buy a new one. But anyways, it's a great thing for safety, also reflective vests are great, but I think that if your friend runs at night a lot and you know that if they get off work late and they always run at night, it's a really safe move. It gives them some confidence of having light, but on top of that, it gives them some visibility of also having a giant light beam coming out of their head. Simple, clean. Number eight, nutrition. Okay, this stuff is important, but it's something that not everybody loves to buy. So it's kind of like two parts of nutrition, which can be like the recovery and then the pre and during. And so for the pre and during, there's like a lot of different gel packets that you can buy. And these just have like caffeine, sodium, all the things you need. This is usually for your friends that do like marathons or like triathlons and stuff like that. They probably take these if they go on long bike rides, they probably take these. You might know if your friend used them, you might not, but the goo are pretty good. The honey stinger are pretty good, but I just love getting the ones with caffeine because I really feel that caffeine helps me exercise. So goo packets. Also kind of for the during, before, and after, electrolyte slash hydration mix, which I like Hydrant, I did a brand deal with them, and I love their ones with caffeine, they're 100 milligrams, but there's also other brands like Noon, who do the same thing. And then for the post, there's protein. I stay away from whey protein, because it's like an animal protein, but you may, you may like that. There's a lot of plant-based proteins, but like protein mixes are really important after hard sessions. Just as I did with the massage tools, I'm giving away all of these nutrition bits. So if you need some hydration, some energization, um, I'm gonna tell you how to win that at the end of the video. I think I just mix up the words, but I'll tell you how to win that at the end of the video, okay? Next we have clothes. These are obviously really important for runners because your running clothes aren't usually the same as your day to day clothes. And I think that there's a ton of great options on the market. You can go to Costco and there's this brand called 360, I, I don't know. Basically there's these base layers and they're super thin, super light shirts, like kind of like base layer of legging. Like I think they're called long johns, but I used to wear them as tights all the time. And it's like, $8 for these really nice base layers that are super fun to run in and I just get the black ones and they're, they're, they're really nice. I wish I knew what they were called. This is a gift where it's kind of more so like if your friend is like, oh dang, I keep running out of dry fit shirts, I keep having to run in these cotton shirts, this sucks. And it's like, oh, obviously I got a good gift for you. On top of that, running shorts is really important and I've actually been loving these U Apparel shorts. They're a little bit longer than your traditional running shorts. Like they're, they're the normal like mid-length shorts, like the five inch shorts but they're not like the short shorts. And I honestly love these because I wear them all day and then I'll go run in them. So they kind of serve a double purpose and not make another pair of dirties, you know? And it's by my friend Ethan. He started this company and they're incredible. Like they're really just great shorts in my opinion at a great price. I'm not even trying to plug my friend. I actually just love his products. So there we go. Socks are really important. So if your friend is always running out of socks or has smelly feet, get them some new socks. They're so great. Swiftwick, I live and die by. When you thought that was it, I have one last thing for y'all. And this is a vlogging camera because although, you know, there's not really a running gift, there's a lot of people hopping in the running, vlogging space, which I love and I think it's so special to see. And so a lot of people are probably needing cameras. And there's a lot of great cameras on the market. I used to use the Sony A6000. It was incredible. I think it's only like $400. I don't know. I just wanted to throw it in there. <laughs> that pretty much wraps it up. 
all this gift giving may make you wonder, how do I win the presents that you were talking about? And basically, it's pretty simple. All you do is go to the comments, comment your Instagram at, so I can DM you if you want, and then basically go follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and, um, and then you're entered to win. It's that simple. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and boom, 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 you could win one of these care packages. Send me out two of them, and I'll probably maybe include some live well stuff, so if you want something of that, you know, you can go get that. I hope you win. Best of luck. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. As usual, live happy, be healthy. Bye. How do you win the giveaway? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but uh, listen to whatever he's got to say and you'll figure it out. I guess so, I guess so. <laughs>